It was the summer of 1997. Biggie Smalls had just released his second album, Life After Death, and it was blowing up on the radio. But not long after the album dropped, tragedy struck. Biggie was shot and killed in a drive-by shooting while he sat in his car at a red light in Los Angeles. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos on this topic. It's been over two decades since then and still no one knows who pulled the trigger, but now Biggie's mother, Valletta Wallace, has revealed shocking details about her son's death in a recent interview. She accuses music mogul Diddy of lying and said up Biggie to be killed. Could this be the key to finally solving the case? What role did he play in the death of one of the greatest rappers of all time? Let's investigate together. Violetta Wallace, the mother of Biggie Smalls, recently sat down with the Daily Mail to discuss her son's death. The interview was an emotional one and Wallace opened up about her pain and grief since her son's passing. She believes that her son was set up to be killed and says she has an idea of who murdered him. She believes that the LAPD knows exactly who it is, but for some reason, refuses to move forward with the investigation and arrest those involved. In her interview, Wallace went on to accuse Diddy of lying and setting up Biggie as a target. I have a very good idea, and I genuinely believe that the LAPD know exactly who did too. They've done their investigation, but they just refuse to move forward. I don't know why they haven't arrested who was involved. There's no closure for me until that murderer is behind bars and sentenced for his crime. Wallace also believes that Diddy was responsible for setting up Biggie to be killed. He lied and said he didn't know who the shooter was. I believe he did know and set him up to be murdered. He says he loved Christopher, but if you love someone, why? Why would you do something like that? Diddy has yet to comment on these recent allegations. The LAPD investigation into Biggie's death has since been closed, but that doesn't mean fans have given up hope in getting justice for their beloved rapper. Activists, celebrities, and fans are still hopeful that someday the case will be reopened and those responsible will be brought to justice. Biggie's wife, Faith Evans, has also made similar claims. Well, we know he was murdered, but we believe that the LAPD knows who's responsible and they haven't done anything about it. We just don't understand why. However, these claims cannot be made in court. These claims were not only made by Biggie's mother and wife but Gene Deal, a man who claims to have been in contact with Miss Wallace, also has similar revelations about the case. His frat brother was involved in making Gene's meeting with Miss Wallace possible. They keep telling me Gene Deal, Gene Deal. Who is Gene Deal? That's my frat brother Miss Wallace. I'll call him right now. Furthermore, he went on to tell that Miss Wallace asked Puffy about Gene and he immediately denied knowing him. She said she had been looking for me because the police had told her ask Gene Deal and she asked Puffy who Gene Deal was and Puff says, I don't know Gene Deal. This only raised raises more questions about the events that led to Biggie's death. Could Diddy have been involved? Was he protecting someone? Or was he simply protecting himself? Bad Boy, records former president, Kurt Burroughs, had also added up some mind-boggling claims that Diddy was scheduled to travel to London for a journalist meet and greet, and then return back to LA on the same day. He further added that he didn't want Biggie to go, which is why he cancelled the plan, leaving us with more questions than answers. Fans were shocked when the London concert was cancelled, one fan expressed. I still have my London ticket for 1997. I remember being so excited to see Biggie perform, it was going to be a really special experience. The fact that he never made it there and he was killed just days later is heartbreaking. Another has also commented while spitting out the fact. So let me get this right. Puffy said Big wasn't going to London after all the money Clyde Davis spent on him and he also went there a week earlier. Then Puff kept him there where he lost his life. Well, by putting all these pieces together, it's hard to ignore the fact that there is something mysterious and dangerous about Biggie's death. It seems Puffy had already planned the murder and had no remorse about it. However, what Gene reveals next is quite convincing that Puffy was indeed behind Biggie's untimely demise. Gene stated, something's got to change. He went upstairs, he turned to Juan, and it didn't dawn on me what he said, that my mans looked at me and bum, was like you the brother said Big. I said yo, we sure did. He said Big gotta die. He said Big. The fans were shocked. They could barely believe that Gene had such an intimate knowledge of Biggie's death, and the implications seemed enormous. But it was only the beginning of their revelations. It seemed clear that Gene had put a hint on something, but what? It wasn't just Biggie's death which appeared suspicious, as Biggie's death was eerily similar to the death of Tupac, and fans could only wonder if Diddy had a hand in that too. But while suspicion swirled around Diddy and his possible involvement, he couldn't get away with it all. Gene's revelation opened up a new world of possibilities, and fans were eager to find out what really happened that fateful night. And you know what's the worst of all of this? Biggie's mother was not told anything about the incident. Diddy had denied everything and refused to give any information about Gene. But now, it all made sense. He was following their agreement from the whole nine yards. If anything ever went down, don't tell nobody my name. It looked like Biggie's death wasn't just a tragic accident. Something bigger and far more sinister was going on, and fans were determined to get the truth. After Gene's confession, the investigation heated up, and finally answers began to surface. Little did we know that Biggie's death would uncover a web of lies, betrayal, and deception. Something far more dangerous than any of us could have imagined. It's an amazing story of intrigue, suspense, and danger that still sends chills down our spines. We want to know your thoughts. Leave a comment below, and let us know what you think about this.